Register for our free newsletter tomorrow. We'll see the first of thousands of music lovers step into Glasgow Green for the TRNSMT Music Festival. A host of acts will be taking to the stage as the event returns to the city for a second year in the scorching sunshine. The Sunday Post was given special access for a tour of the event site as the stages and bars are put up ready for two weekends of live music. Speaking on site, organizer Jeff Ellis said, It's unbelievable for Glasgow and Scotland to have this kind of weather. It means we are ahead of schedule here. The stages are up and the bars and food units are coming into place. I've been in the office all this week rather than being on site but every time I come down to the site everyone there's on top of their game, we've got a great team. Doing a fantastic job, 140,000 music fans are expected over the first weekend with some of the biggest acts in the world heading to Glasgow Green, including Stereophonics, Arctic Monkeys and Liam Gallagher. Great being in the heart of Glasgow city centre with everything it has to offer and we are going to have a great music festival, Ellis added. Those who were at the festival last year won't see too many differences, but organisers have expanded bar areas and introduced new food vendor platform. And, of course, there are the extra two dates the following weekend with headliners Queen. Video, acts taking to TRNSMT's King Tut's stage on why they're looking forward to the Glasgow Music Festival, Radiohead were amazing last and seeing the pyrotechnics after Biffy Clyro, that was a great finish to the festival. Ellis says, when asked for his highlights from the previous year, seeing Louis Capaldi and Jerry Cinnamon too both being on the King Tut's stage with big crowds and then making that leap onto the main stage for this year has been good, he adds. Both will probably be back in a couple of years as main stage headliners which is great for Scottish music. Jeff Ellis, TRNSMT organizer, Wadi Chun, this year's lineup of top acts from a variety of genres is also a source of pride for organizers. I'm looking forward to seeing Queen and Adam Lambert as I've never seen Queen before, Ellis says. I've had to order extra generators so I know how much of a show it's going to be, it'll be huge. It'll be bigger than any of the other artists this year or last year in terms of production. Adam is a great performer, he doesn't try to be Freddie and he has his own personality, which you have to have to front Queen. With Texas on before them and Charlene belting out all the hits, it's going to be a fantastic day. The TRNSMT main stage some of the acts performing this weekend have also shared their excitement ahead of the festival. Stereophonics frontman Kelly Jones said, The TRNSMT lineup looks like a great weekend for all. Happy to be headlining the Friday and getting another chance to play in front of the beautiful, always up for it, Scottish crowds. Nina Nesbitt on playing TRNSMT, fans in the US and finding a sound she's happy with and Miles Kane, who plays on Sunday July 1st, said, It's been too long since I've been on stage, I cannot wait to get up and perform a high-energy set with a couple of new bangers thrown in. Bring it on. Tickets are on sale now via www.transempfest.co.uk slash tickets.